What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to complete the Rebirth Island Easter Egg in Call of Duty Warzone. Completing this will unlock a secret bunker and includes a secret Easter Egg weapon unlock. If you find this guide useful, let me know in the comments section and feel free to leave a thumbs up. Now, before you jump in, be aware that this Easter Egg is very hard. So definitely jump in with a full team for this. You're going to need some luck, some patience, and some coordination. So step one is you're going to be locating a briefcase that is going to be on the map. Now, this briefcase has over 10 different spawns and it looks a little bit like this. An open briefcase with three photographs on the floor. On your screen now is a map overview graphic I've created to show you where all of these spawns can be. I've labeled them from letters A to K. So my best advice would be to coordinate with your team and choose set locations you want to check where the briefcase can be. Now, with helpful graphics like this and others that I'll show in this video, don't feel like you need to pause the video or screenshot any of this whenever you jump in and you need these images right at the palm of your hands or on your screen go ahead and open up the description box as in the description i have links to all the images that i'm going to be showing you in this video and in general if this video isn't clear enough i'll have even more instruction for you in the description the good thing about all these briefcase locations is that they are out in the open so if you are in the air gliding in or in a helicopter you should have good visibility to see this from up in the air now time is of the essence with this easter egg because of course the gas will be closing in and certain areas will become unavailable so a great tip to save time is have players drop in these different locations in the pre-game lobby as in the final moments before the game begins easter egg items will spawn in so there's a chance you'll see the briefcase before the game starts so you'll know exactly where to drop once you've found the briefcase you'll notice around it will be three photographs each photo is a different part of the map that you are gonna have to go to so in my particular game, the first photo I saw was the side of a building with some Russian writing on it and a window. The next is two dead bodies that are wrapped up somewhere. And then the third photo is going to be an image of a locker. Now, when I said the Easter egg was hard, this is where it gets hard because there are 26 different photos that can be by the briefcase. What your job is, is to recognize the photos and go to the areas that have been photographed because there is going to be a hidden number sequence there. Now, unless you know the map inside out, this is nearly impossible, but I've made your life easier as on your screen now, you can see a bird's eye view map of Rebirth Island, as well as all 26 possible photos photos that you'll find in the briefcase as well as numbering each one of them and putting their corresponding location on a bird's eye view of the rebirth map just like with the previous image i'll have this in the video's description so you can go ahead look at this open it up and look at it for as long as you need but if we use this graphic with the three photos i had in my game the photos that i had are numbered 7 18 and 24. So if I look over at the bird's eye view map and I look for the numbers 7, 18 and 24, I know I'll be going in that general area to find each part of the code. So following along in my game, number seven is a set of lockers that is in the prison. Specifically, it is on the second floor of the prison and the numbers are going to be inside of the bottom grates of the lockers. It is such a horrible spot. And this is a common theme that you'll notice throughout this video. These numbers are purposely hidden in very difficult places that will require you to really have a sharp eye so looking here we can see that the numbers were dash eight three two so let's write that down so we know for later dash eight three two our next photo was 18 and it was a picture of some bodies so the bodies is actually located in a tunnel underground between chemical engineering and the prison so as we run through we see the picture and we see there is a code on the door in front of the bodies which is dash eight six dash so noting that down, we have one final code to get. And on the graphic, this is photo number 24. And this is the side of a yellow house near the living quarters. But you can only see this when you're gliding with your parachute. It's insane. As we slow down the footage, you can see the building matches. It has the same window and the same Russian imagery. But you see we have a code written there, which is 423 dash. So with the three parts of our code, the first part is going to be the one that starts with just numbers which is 423 dash of course this will be different in your game whichever part starts with numbers and ends with a dash is the first part the next part is the code that has a dash 
two numbers and then another dash. And then the last part of our code is the one that starts with a dash, but doesn't end with a dash. And so for us, the code was 4238683 and it was correct and the yellow door opened. Now it goes without saying, but this code is different every single game and the numbers in each of the locations you need will change every single game. Opening up the secret yellow bunker door will grant you with a ton of amazing awards such as a specialist bonus, foresight allowing you to see the final circle as well as a brand new secret weapon blueprint for the Milano which is called the Red Room. Now at this point you think that the easter egg guide is over but it is not because I've made it look easy. This is not an easy easter egg to complete by any means because whilst we have a map that shows you all of these locations knowing exactly where to look is where to actually look when you go to these areas because these codes are so well hidden. Now, I can't show you every single location's numbers in this video because we'd be here all day long. But again, the description is your best friend as I'll provide links to you where you can see actual visual imagery of where you need to look within every possible location for these numbers. For example, if you get photo number 13 from my image that I created, you're going to need to go into that building, but you don't really know where you're going to need to look. So to show you how crazy this is, you need to go bottom floor into one of the bedrooms and stand up on this cardboard box and look over at the shelf as right at the very top is where you're going to see those set of numbers. Another example is if you get 16, which is a picture of some blue barrels. You're going to have to look really, really closely here to notice these numbers hiding behind the barrel and know that you've got to go to this part of the map. Number 22 as well is just a picture of a box, but you need to go outside of the decon zone and you need to look specifically right behind this crate by climbing on top of it and you'll see it on the wall there hidden almost in shadow. If you get a photo of the sky of number four, that is the gondola itself. You need to actually climb on top of the gondola and look at the side of the railings that's keeping the gondola in place as that's where you'll find your code. Some of these spots are going to be underground. Some of these spots are going to be on a ground floor. Some are going to be up high in buildings. Some are literally going to be on the ceiling in places you will never look. So what I will do is in the description of this video like i said if you open it up there will be a link which will show you all the locations as well as the description of where they are as well so hopefully you can combine all the resources in the description as well as what i've shown you in this video and hopefully you'll have a pretty easy time learning how to complete this easter egg inside of rebirth island the only thing that's going to be really stopping you is a bit of luck when it comes to finding the stuff early on as well as generally the players in the game not killing you whilst you're on vital parts of this easter egg but if you look carefully at the three photos in your game match them up to the numbers on my diagram and then go to the areas on the map you will have a good idea generally from the photo that the number is in the photo itself somewhere you've just got to look i wish you the best of luck if you need any help or want to team up with people that want to do this easter egg please feel free to use the comment section as a looking for group section and i'll be updating the description of this video with new helpful resources resources to make completing this easter egg as easy for you as possible but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed feel free to subscribe for more easter egg tutorials like this and i'll catch you very soon